Matt, nine points out of nine Christmas New Year. That's uh, some return, isn't it? Must be delighted. Yep, it's a great Christmas and a great start to the new year. Uh, as you say, nine points over this festive period is uh, superb and I thought it was doable, really did, uh, and, and told the lads that at the start of the week. Um, and the most important thing was to try and get the three points at Crawley and, and just take it a game at a time. Uh, but today was certainly the best performance, and uh, if, if arguably for the season as well, because uh, I thought we were outstanding and thoroughly deserved the win. First half hour particularly, I was in that, I sat at the back, I thought it was the best we played all season, and, and you've just said off, off camera, you know, by, by a long way. Yeah, first half an hour, we were certainly the best spell we've had all season. I just couldn't get out of half, we were just completely dominating, winning first, winning seconds, getting on the ball, uh, some really good passing, really opening them up, probably stuff we don't get credit for, um, but uh, some really good football, I, and just disappointed really that we weren't three or four and, and the game was over. I saw the facial expressions on the bench when Omar put that one just wide from, from Enzio's cross, that was just after Will had, Will had missed as well, you must at that point have been thinking it was going to be one of those afternoons where the performance of the game just wasn't going to quite Yeah, finish. and when you're playing that well, you do want the second and you do want the third just to kill the game off, but <laughs> we've done everything right apart from the put the ball in the net so that was frustrating and then they have their one moment where it was a bit of a soft free kick a poor free kick to give away don't quite deal with it a bit of a melee and they poke it in and we suddenly find ourselves going in at half time level which was uh, really harsh to take and that last day you know when they did score that last five minutes of the second of the first half was probably their, their best spell and our worst spell of the game well because goals change games and it just gave them a little bit of hope which you know I didn't see for the first half an hour um, and then yeah they're, they're right back in the game they changed their shape early on so to, to make a team 10 games unbeaten you know coming here they've changed their shape they, they, they're sure from the goal they had a rally we got in at half time disappointed but no if we could get back to what we were on the first first half first half an hour that we'd have every chance of winning the game and then so was that what you said at half time because the players must have been disappointed having played so well not to be not to be ahead at half time um, was that the message to carry, carry on the way we were going it was yeah it was a bit of a repeat of the messages before the game because when you've got a sell out here when you've got a derby um, when you've um, got a big crowd and, and the atmosphere and the tension that you do have with a derby sometimes little touches little free kicks you, you can give needlessly away and let teams put balls in the box so I was just making sure because that, that was probably their biggest threat is making sure that we didn't concede another silly for free kicks just to allow them to put balls in our box which I thought we did well um, we weren't as dominant as the first half but still um, some great moves some good opportunities and uh, yeah 2-1 maybe could have been 3 or 4 Good to see Omar come in, come in with the winner he worked, worked hard as always didn't he had a bit of a Battle with their battle with their defence and ended up on the having the last laugh. Yeah, he's popped up and got us a goal. I was just worried. I wanted to keep him on, but again, with the nature of the game and him just picking up a booking, I was worried that we'd we'd suddenly go down to ten men. So that was the only reason I bought him off because I thought he was outstanding. Uh, and Donny, who has not trained much and has not been fit for the last couple of games, he's put an excellent shift in there for us. So it was just freshening up the front two just after the goal. Um, is, is the reasons I've done that, uh, but we saw it through. And you know, other than um, a great save from Rosie from Hudlin's header, I think that's the only save he's had to make all game. And just uh, just before Omar scored, we noticed Killian Killian on the touchline. Wonder if Omar knew he was coming off. And yeah, thought, this is this is your, my last chance. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it was a, it was a sub we're going to make regardless of the goal. Um, and uh, yeah, he, he had an impact. Josh coming on, they changed the shape again. Threw bodies on forward, uh, dealt with everything that to throw to us. And listen, that's get on so well when the manager is a top man I've uh, known him since I was about 15 16 years old and he's done superbly well since uh, the defeat at their place and he's gone 10 league games unbeaten winning six so they've been on a great run and, and they've really picked up some big wins and, and big points in that spell but thankfully we were we managed to, to get yeah. back on to, to winning side today mm. for us and uh, pick up six points out of the two which I'm delighted for and Ben coming off again with, with 10 minutes to go I guess that was again a pre sort of d decided thing but a bit more difficult today you didn't have Aaron Pierre on the bench yeah um, there was a couple of options we had Aaron Pierre unfortunately ill there's flu bug going around and Sam Hart's got it as well um, so it was a little bit disappointing um, with that but that is also another option for us with, with Harry or, or Josh or whatever coming on on that right hand side um, it was always going to be Harry probably the first sub but it was just the front two and the way the game panned out that it wasn't Harry coming on because um, he's been brilliant since he's come back pushing Enzio back who's again outstanding Kizzy back at the centre half and, and we cope very well and you say about Sam Hart being ill has he recovered from his knock in the face on yeah the I we don't believe it's broken it's swelling it's not too bad um, but yeah he wasn't feeling too well before the game but played um, and he hasn't been too well since and, and Aaron Pierre and Lewis Ward that's why he missed uh, the game the other night so there's a as we all know there's this uh, flu bug going around at the moment but you must be delighted to, to see, see the game out quite quite painlessly in the end of, that, that save was a long way before the end and after that we, we defended 
um, defended well, didn't really give them many chances and could have had another at the end. No, exactly. Threw bodies on, threw bodies forward, uh, dealt with, with everything they threw at us uh, and the supporters as well, the noise and the atmosphere that they created here and really got behind us and certainly helped us over the line in those latter stages. Yeah, 5,000 in the ground made, made for a great atmosphere and a cracking local cracking local derby. It's sort of game everybody really wants to play in, isn't it? Yeah, it was one we were looking forward to, especially after the two wins this week. Teed it up lovely for this game. Uh, and thankfully we've made it 9 out of 9. Now we've got a month coming up of uh, quite a few long trips. First one on Saturday away to Tranmere Rovers. So question of getting getting everybody in over the, over the week, seeing what's happened and then picking a side for what will be a completely different yeah, type of game. Yeah, we're going to have a little rest now because they deserve it because of how well they've done. And we've just got to make sure uh, we're all ready to go to... Uh, to kick on for, for two tough away games at Tramer and Salford. And one extra name going to be in the squad um, next Saturday, David Azuboy, brought him back on loan. Uh, well, he regist registered today. Um, must be must be pleased to get him back and give him a chance to, to show what he can do. Yeah, my, my first signing. Terrific lad, great lad. Great to see Smiley facing around the lads again. Um, deserved his move to, to Peterborough, top end League One club. Unfortunately, hasn't quite worked out in the first few months of, of him being there. But to get him back here, get a smile on his face, get him confident, and he's going to add a huge amount to us as well, as we know. Um, so we're delighted to have him to the end of the season, and I'm sure he'll have a big part to play. It's been a great Christmas. Well done, Matt. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Cheers.